Right, here's part two. Basically making these back to back, so they'll come out daily. Um, we last played Zulok, we won a couple games with that. We might jump into Pirate Warrior. We'll see how that goes. Well, if Pirate Warrior loses, we'll probably switch to something else like Zoo again or something. I had, I've had lots of success with the Zoo Lock right now on ladder. So, going down from not too bad to really good, but Pirate Warrior is a fun deck to play too. So, hmm. all of those are nice cards. Probably drop the Heroic Strike for later. Drop the heroic strike, draw the heroic strike. That's exactly what my life is like. Alright. So, we either fiery war axe, turn one. Mmm, there's a lot of value in this hand. Alright. The frog's not a bad play. It can contest most things. Fire War Axe turn 2, and then turn 3 will probably be Upgrade plus Blood Sail Raider for a nice turn 3 play. <laughs> yep, okay. Double Fire War Axe. So do I want to get the extra damage? Ah, we'll leave it for now. Because he might ooze it. Either way. Or he might might play Harrison. Nope, Nourish. Alright. So he's either going to ramp, and he ramped. Okay. Not a bad ramp. Not probably what I would have went with, but he's quite a lot higher now. So we want to upgrade, and then that. Alright. Pretty much everything I have now is quite good. I can deal 10 damage with just these two. Next turn I can deal another 6 on top of that, so I can deal 16 total. And he swiped it, alright. Still can deal a fair bit of damage. <laughs> alright, we're gonna rush. We're just going to rush him down. He's already at 7 mana. We can't afford to let him get too high. There's too many threats. Again, draw? Yep. Cool. Just got 2 mana to work with, which will probably just be hero power. I'm trying to think what would be really good for me right now. Maybe one of my charges. Mm, yep. Perfect. Alright. This will make it harder for him. Because even with hero power, War Axe still threatens lethal. So he either needs to torn up, armor up, which is what he's probably going to go with. Alright, that's okay. He's gonna living roots me, which kind of sucks, but I can deal with that. Hard choices. Definitely taking five damage. So now I've got a few things that can really mess him up. Probably gonna have to hero power if he doesn't. He's dead. So there's. He's gonna have two mana to work with. I just need any form of damage right now. I'm pretty sure my odds were quite high. Yeah. yeah we'll give him. Give him some chance. Give him a shot. Cool. First game done. Now we're ranking up.
Alright. It's the only one I really want to drop. <laughs> so, we've got the same sort of combination as last time. Or we just play upgrade first, but then that's kind of just a waste, so... I can't really afford to waste upgrade. Coin, oh, secret keeper. Yeah, it's a good target for Fiery War X turn one. If I leave Secret Keeper up, he's probably going to coin out that bloody secret card that plays all of them off for him into zero. So I'm not leaving that up. Alright. Yep. Just what I thought was probably going to happen. So, we can test for cat trick. We can test for explosive. So that only leaves... Snipe. And freezing trap. So it's probably freezing trap. Just based off that, but he's probably going to trade anyway, so... And we've also got snake trap, but I don't know about snake trap being the next play. And he probably wouldn't have done that if it was freezing trap, so weird. Hmm. Let's see. So it's probably snake trap. That's what I'm betting on at the moment. It's probably snake trap. I've ruled out most other cards. Could also be the bear summon. That's possible, but... I don't know how often many people really want to play that. Don't worry, love. The cavalry's here. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be smart to ram. Alright. That's perfect. No. Because if it is what I think it is. Yeah, I thought as much. Which is still completely fine. Because he's still got to deal with it, so... Next turn I've still got, what, 8 extra damage on top of my board. Oh, he's going to sack them both, isn't he? No, he could probably just ram 1 if that's what I... I don't know, there's so many secrets he could play. I hate secrets. I know if that goes into this, then I know what it is. Alright. Either way, I was going to be fine. Alright, we'll get the damage. I don't need too much more off my health before I can deal 6, so that's fine. Has to use the hounds. Because that would be two, one, and then one for an easy ram. So I only really need damage. I just need four damage. And I should be able to close out this next turn. And there it is. So if that's freezing trap, it would suck, but. I'm going to keep armoring just because it's good. But I do need to drop below 12. But I can't afford to not try and beat him. He can deal 6, so I should be able to drop low enough. Alright, he can deal 8. Actually, that will set me exactly at 12. If you have 12 or less, sweet. So that would be lethal. That's fine. Cool. 
chalk up another win for the Pirate Warrior. Pirate Warrior has so many good damage guys, so if you can get them low enough, quick enough, you can usually deal with them. I don't mind that hand either. First mate's a good play, gives me a weapon. Come on. That kind of sucks, but we'll deal with it. And looks like I don't want to have to deal with it later. So we'll deal with it now. Because odds are he's probably going to use Totem. If he doesn't have something in hand, he'll use Totem. Yep. That's my line of play that I usually use. Alright. So now, either way, I'm going to get some value out of this. Not the way I wanted to get any value, but... Alright, we'll kill off the small guy. So he's got a pretty equal trade. No, that kind of sucks. He's gonna force me to trade. Eh, just fine with me. Because I'm just gonna clear board, so... I know this is the only activator I've got, but it's fine. Against Shaman, I really need to take board control. And that's why. Okay. We'll kill off that. If I take a little bit more damage, I should be right, because I can start healing soon. Now even Fire Elemental isn't a big threat. X plus... X? Oh, lightning bolt. Alright. That's fine. Totem I've got to keep killing off. And... Another War Axe. Cool. Alright. So this is how we take board presence with the pirates. We force removal and then we clear board. Hoping for spell power. <laughs> Thank you. Needed that. No, just need something. Okay, that kind of shitty. will make it harder. Because now if you turn him up, if he doesn't get spell power, just a one in three. I should be okay. Cool. That works out for me. Mm, okay, that's not as good. Yeah, okay. Not good. So now I've got to clear. I can 
I don't want to take damage, so. There is a lot at <laughs> is he basically saying, no, I don't have an answer? Alright. I'm already not low enough to use that for 6 damage, so that's lethal. Cool, that would have been lethal either way, but... Power Warrior wins again! Alright, thanks for watching, we'll leave this one here and check the next video tomorrow. See ya.